So it's been a very, very long time since I made a video on some of the Magisk modules. So in this video, we will talk about three Magisk modules. Of course, not five, not eight, not 10, maybe next time, but for now, three modules, which you can definitely give it to try with the latest Android versions. And in this one, I'm using Magisk. Even if you're using kernel SU, no issues with that. But if you're using Magisk, then just go for it. Open the module section installed from storage. All the required modules links are available in the description. This is the first module named as live boot. This is basically a boot animation. And to be very honest with you, it actually looks good. What this does is as it is installed, click on reboot. It will take some time to reboot depending on which device you're using. And I'm not going to pause video here right now just to show you how the boot animation will look like when it will open for the first time, when it will boot for the first time. So let me just show you this is by device boot logo. For example, this is by Xiaomi device and I'm using lineage OS by the way. So the default boot animation has been changed. As you can see, some kind of live boot, some commands and something like this. It looks quite exciting when you show off this somewhere else in the public when someone is actually not having any idea what are you doing. So that's actually something quite good. This is about the first module which we have installed name as live boot. And as I just told you, all the required files links are available in the description. So you can go and install that. Second module, which is in our list is related to material three expressive. If you're using Android 15, I mean, in this case, I'm using Lineage OS custom room based on Android 15. And this is not having anything like material you theming, material expressive theme, which is a part of Android 16's QPR update, then you can install this thing. What this does is the settings UI, a minor change available in settings UI, the card style UI kind of things. Also, whenever you open any app section and so on, you will see some dividers and so on. You will see expressive UI kind of theming. Same goes with the switches. If you have used Android 16 QPR, you might already know about it. This is what we have. And it's quite easy, by the way. It was very easy to install this thing to set up with the help of command and so on. But we are talking about some modules, so you can definitely install this thing. You don't need, don't need any Termax and so on. The good thing about this module is, let me show you. If you move on to Magisk and open the module section, you will notice we have an action button available. So if you don't like this theme, you do not have to uninstall this properly. You can simply click on action button. It will simply disable the theme. And then you can click on action button again. It will simply enable the theme. So that's actually quite good. So the last but not the least, we have the app. We have a module named as app nuker. What this does is you can simply uninstall some pre-installed system apps, especially for the devices, which actually does not have Basically a device which is actually rooted but have a lot of blotware and so on or maybe in some cases like in this case I'm using lineage OS so it might not be of that useful in this case but if you're using a custom room which is having a lot of extra pre-installed apps you want to remove them for any for any reason then this app might be useful for you. It will take some time to install. After installing, you just have to reboot your device and of course open this app named as KSU Web UI because in this case I am using Magisk. If you are using kernel SU then you don't need this app. But if you are using Magisk like me, then you need this app to open this app Nuker application directly from here. So we have a lot of options available like Essential, Caution, Safe, Google. All the apps are categorized according to this one. So whichever app you want to remove, you can and you can even restore them later on. But remember one thing, if by any chance accidentally, if you remove some app like which is actually serious to your device, it might cause harm to your device. So no one is responsible for that. So make sure you know what you are doing because this might be this might be risky for some of the users if you don't know what you are doing. But it's quite simple, quite basic, but it might be quite useful for many Many people out there so these are the some modules actually i just wanted to let you know i hope you like this video if you like this make sure to drop a like and if you are new here don't forget to subscribe the channels we talk we talk about a lot of custom rooms gsi and so on and let's include some magisk modules into that list so this is it thanks for watching i will see you in the next one take